so this isn't a gift review, unless you count PS Plus free games as gifts. This is something I've been meaning to do for a while. Mostly because I love the Vita, and one of my coworkers told me to take a look at the Uncharted series. Also because Sony was going to shut down the PSN store for both Vita and PS3, but Sony backtracked. Thank fuck. But I digress. Originally, I was going to look at the Nathan Drake collection on the PS4 and compare it to the original PlayStation 3 releases. But, after finishing the Devil May Cry HD collection, I didn't want to look at another compilation for a while. Anyway, I barely know much of the series other than the two hours I played on the first one on the PS3, and about the same for Uncharted 4. Pretty much I would go to the Crash Bandicoot part of the game and then call it a day. While looking at the series, one thing stood out. The apparent earliest story entry of the series, that is Uncharted Golden Abyss for the PlayStation Vita. Released as launch title on February 15th, 2012 for the United States for the lovely but mostly ignored PlayStation Vita. Developed by Ben Studios, known for the Siphon Filter games and Bubsy 3D. Now, what would a platform game be without platforms? Hmm, I wonder if there's any extra lives up there. Yes, really. Uncharted Golden Abyss was released after the third installment of the Uncharted series, Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception, Uncharted Golden Abyss makes use of all the Vita's features. And boy, do they make you use all the Vita's features, including the camera. The whole shtick with the Vita at the time was you can play PS3 quality games on the go, with titles announced like Street Fighter Cross Tekken, Borderlands 2, and my personal favorite shitter game, Metal Gear Solid HD. But Uncharted Golden Abyss actually feels like a full-fledged PS3 game on the go. The graphics look amazing for a Vita game, running at below 720p, it's probably really hard to tell since it's recorded in a weird way, but it looks amazing on an original OLED Vita model that I own. This was recorded using my original launch 3D, using custom firmware so I can get a direct feed on OBS, it's not as clear as using a direct feed from a Vita TV running at 720p, but trust me, I'd rather be playing this on the portable console than on the PlayStation TV. For the gameplay, it plays like Uncharted. Third person shooting, context sensitive parkouring, and good old Nathan Drake Uncharted ing. For gunplay, you hold the L button to aim and shoot with the R button. While aiming, you can aim using the six axis gyro motion for more precise aiming, and I like that. While aiming weapons like the sniper rifle, you can use both the front touchscreen and the rear touchpad to zoom. For climbing, there's using the analog stick and jumping with the X button, or you can use the Vita touch controls to climb and it shows the little sparkle. Throughout the game, you'll get sections where you're able to do some charcoal rubbing, while some are mandatory, some are optional. The other gimmick, it's on its gyro balancing. Throughout the game, you get through these parts where you're either on a long log of wood or a plank, where our boy Nathan almost loses his balance, and if he doesn't, it's just death. It's neat for the first time, and it kind of just breaks the pace every other time, honestly. There is one gimmick I do like. It's also probably the only one that probably doesn't work on the PlayStation TV, using the light on the PlayStation camera to brighten the paper that's on the screen. It's only done once, but I like it. The other gimmicks include swiping the screen for some quick time events and two boss fights, and solving some puzzle pieces, and those are most of the gimmicks. Well, the important ones. Story-wise, Golden Abyss is pretty straightforward. Nathan Drake is helping this totally not bad guy Dante, who is kinda maybe working for an evil Spanish general. He ends up meeting this girl Chase, whose grandfather was an archaeologist, Mayhem ensues and Nathan Drake tries to save the day. Oh, and Sullivan's there too. I'm not going to say much about it since my videos have become more of a plot synopsis than an actual review, but it's a great short story for what it is. Now, how can people play this game? Well, there are pretty much only two ways at the moment. On an original PlayStation Vita, or on a custom firmware PlayStation TV using Whitelister. There is a Vita emulator, but to my knowledge, Uncharted doesn't run on it, and if you're going to get it, get it on the PlayStation Store because physical copies for those games are way too high. Just get it on PSN. It's 14 bucks. It's well worth the value. Overall, Uncharted Golden Abyss is an impressive and fun game that you can take on the go. For an almost 10 year old Vita game, it holds up fantastically, with my only real gripe being f the forced use of the Vita's gimmick. It's truly a PS3 game smashed into a portable console, and honestly, it deserves a remaster or a port. It's criminally underrated. After Uncharted Golden Abyss, Bent Studio will end up making from what I hear is a pretty alright survival game, Days Gone. A game that I also got on PS Plus thanks to being both on PS Plus and on the PS Plus collection on PlayStation 5. Something I should probably look into into the future, because I think it looks neat. And if there's also another Vita game that you would like me to look at, put it in the comments.
because I would like other comment notifications than that one TF2 video I did years ago. Anyway, thank you if you made it this far on this side of the video review thing. Next one's going back to give reviews. I have been Fonzie. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't. I stream my entire Uncharted adventure on twitch.tv slash Fonzman. And follow me on Twitter. So you can see when I upload new videos or go live at Fonzie's Revenge on Twitter. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. And remember, Vita meant life. I'll see you then.